Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to make a ceramic plate. First, the items you'll need today are a blank ceramic plate, the image you'd like to display, a set of gloves, some Condi Dietrans Pro Spray, scissors for cutting out your image, a green heat conductive rubber pad, and this is something a little bit different today that we'll be using. I have a contact pyrometer, and you'll notice in my press, one of the things you'll be needing today is a puck, which I have my pyrometer set up underneath. What this is doing is it's measuring the heat of my puck, which I want to get up to 400 degrees. I have my press set at 450 degrees, and I'm using a sheet of protective paper to protect the bottom of my press. And so we'll go ahead and close our press and let our puck continue to heat up to about 400 degrees. And while this is heating, we're going to move on to assembling our plate. The first thing you'll want to do is cut out your image so that this black line does not transfer onto our plate. You can use a circle cutter or just cut as close inside the line as you can with a pair of regular scissors. And once you finish cutting out your image, we'll now be able to apply some Condi Dye Transpro Spray onto our transfer. And we're just going to lightly mist our transfer. We'll now place this in the center of our plate. And the Pro Spray will let us move it around if we have to, just slightly. And once I have it where I like it, I can just place it firmly down and smooth out any wrinkles. Once you smooth out your wrinkles and you have your transfer in place, we can now get ready to press. You want to place a sheet of protective paper over your ceramic plate and put a green heat conductive rubber pad over your plate as well. And you'll need your glove. Moving your puck should be done fairly quickly. The puck is very hot and it will transfer right through your glove. So I'm going to lift up on my press which again is set at 450 degrees. I can now remove my contact pyrometer. Grab my ceramic plate, place my puck down in the center, and just even that quick transfer was very hot. So be very careful. And I have my press set at 450 degrees. We're gonna be keeping this on for eight minutes using light pressure. And that sound means we're done. So I'm going to lift and swing away on my press. And even though I have gloves, the puck was still hot last time, so I'm going to try to use this tool. See if it makes it any easier to transfer. I'm going to let that sit on my press because that is just so hot. Remove my heat conductive rubber pad, protective sheet of paper, and I'm going to lift up on my transfer. It's hard to lift with gloves, so I just use my scissors as a little bit of leverage. You'll see my plate I made a great transfer, but since it is ceramic, it is extremely hot, so I'm just going to let it sit on my press for several minutes and let it cool down. Well, we just finished our project with our plate, and you'll notice that the project is a little bit more difficult considering we're using the contact pyrometer and the puck. Anything using ceramic or porcelain, for that matter, is difficult when we press because it is able to crack. But it is a project that's definitely worth doing because it comes out very well, and once you get the hang of it, it's really easy for us to press. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.